Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to finish up this series of winemaking video. This is the last one. Of, you, I know you guys have been waiting for it. I'm excited to show it to you. It's basically the finishing and bottling of the wine process. We got this strawberry pomegranate. That's what we're going to finish the wine and the bottling. And let's get right into it. Mom packed me a brown bag every day. Five years old up to 18. Also today I got help of me, my lovely assistant, and she's going to help us through this process. And today while we're bottling the strawberry pomegranate, we're going to enjoy our peach wine. And also make sure you click the notification bell because I'm going to show you how to do small batches of wine. This is a gallon of pineapple um, and we're going to do a plum. We've got a couple other surprises. So again, make sure to click that notification bell. Stay tuned. So let's get into the ingredients you're gonna need for this uh, final bottling process. You're gonna need Camden tablets, you're gonna need sugar, and you're gonna need stabilizer. Those are the three components to bottling the wine, to make sure you're not blowing corks, and uh, to make sure you don't get any bacteria in your wine. All right, if you watch my part three video, you notice that I filter wine with bentonite. And you can see in the bottom layer here, this is the bentonite. This is what we're gonna take out. And you can literally see how clear this wine got using bentonite. It is the best way to filter your wine and it will turn it crystal clear. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is, I remember I told you, you're going to need about four to five cups of sugar. I'm going to start with four cups. I'm going to show you what I mean by four to five cups when we get to the sweetening process. Okay, so now we're going to add four cups of water. You want to make sure when you're sweetening your wine, you're adding as much sugar as water. So if you're adding four cups sugar, you're going to add four cups of water. So here we got the heat turned on. We're going to actually stir it to get this completely dissolved. You don't want to boil this because um, you don't want to burn your sugar. You just want to get it enough where it's dissolved. So you can see it's starting to get mostly dissolved. We're almost there. You can see bubbles just starting to form. We're ready just to turn the heat off. We will let this sit and cool. Uh, so that's why I kind of wanted to get this started earlier uh, before we start racking. And then this should be cool enough to finish it. So again, also make sure you're sanitizing. I use Star San, but I have a whole separate video. I'll put a link in the description for that. Sanitization is one of the most important things to winemaking. So I make about a two and a half gallon batch. So I'm gonna get put about a half ounce, which is halfway up here. So basically you just squeeze the bottle until you get to the half ounce mark. And then we're gonna dump it in the water. We will start sanitizing our equipment. All right, we got the sanitizer add, added to our bucket. Now we're gonna just fill it up with some warm water. Again, make sure you watch that sanitation video. It's very important because you wanna make sure you mix this in the right quantities because it is very poisonous in its undiluted form. So we got everything set up here. We got our, our equipment sanitized, our uh, spoons and measuring spoons. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rack this. I want to get this bentonite out of here and we're going to rack it uh, down into our bucket, which is what we will use then to bottle our wine. All right. So like I said, you need one Camden tablet per gallon. Uh, so we're going to crush up five Camden tablets for this five gallon batch. And again, we're just dumping these right into the bucket. Uh, we will be stirring this once we rack the wine. We're going to rack the wine right into these chemicals, so that will help in the uh, stir process as well. So five Camden tablets. So the Camden tablets are going to get rid of your bacteria and so forth, and that's kind of what you want. But the stabilizer, if you're going to sweeten your wine, you need the stabilizer. This will help blowing corks and will make sure fermentation does not start back up. So again, package reads a half a teaspoon per gallon. And we're going to put five of these half teaspoons in here. All right, here we go. We're racking the wine. The wine is going down into our bucket. You can see the nozzle there. You can see how, again, crystal clear this wine is. 
you can see the tip at the very end we're not even going to let that get close to that bentonite i don't want any of that in here again if you're doing wine making you know that it's okay to throw a little bit of the wine out because that's what makes a good winemaker so again what you want to make sure is that your hose that's going down into your bucket is down in the wine because we don't want any oxygen splashing into there and if you could smell it now, it smells like wine. Here's the professional winemaker. We've done this many times, so you get a system down and you stick to it. All right, you can see I left a little bit of wine in there. I could filter this out if I if you wanted in like a coffee filter but to be honest it just isn't worth it you don't want any of this sediment in here maybe a better way is I could have racked this again uh, if I wasn't doing a video I probably might have done that but this is uh, fine as long as you're not touching that bottom it's ready for bottling so the next thing you want to do is you want to get your bottles uh, washed and sanitized it's a very critical part um, but make sure you watch my sanitation video you do not you just kind of want to get some of the sanitizer in there on the inside and the outside of the bottles and you're just going to put them on the rack dry the wet sanitizer is what you want you want to save money save your wine bottles i'm going to show you a little trick make sure you check out my other channel it's called along for the journey one word again i'll put a link in the description for that but you can see here i got different colored bottles and I'm gonna show you what I do with these. I will use these to take on a cruise because we take a lot of cruises. I'll foil wrap these, I'll show you how to do that. But when you wanna sneak wine on the ship, this is the best way to do it, <laughs> is to bottle your own wine or whatever else you wanna put in. Again, the corker's got many purposes. To foil wrap these and take them on a cruise ship, there's nothing like taking your own wine on a cruise ship see how i do that how i foil wrap these so we're done sanitizing the bottles we're going to move on to the next step and we're going to show you how to sweeten this wine before we actually put corks in okay make sure you watch my corking video because it shows you how to pick your sizes of corks it's very important so also what you want to do is you'll notice in that video you got to sanitize your corks uh, number one it kills any bacteria uh, when you go to bottle them and it will also make them go into the bottles a lot easier so get your cork soaking all right you remember we put the stabilizer in camden tablets and we're just going to stir this ever so gently just to get everything kind of mixed in uh, when we added the wine in here that did a lot of the mixing for us but again you just kind of want to make sure that the stabilizer and the camden tablets are uh, mixed in here fairly well we will be mixing this again once we put our sweetener in so that's going to be the next process but the what i was telling you about the favorite thing in, in the video number one was this is the key because you can make your wine taste as you want you can make it dry semi-sweet sweet whatever you want and we're going to show you how we do it we're going to start by we're not big dry wine drinkers but we have a lot of friends that are so if we ever pass these out Highly doubt that, but uh, we will uh, give them whatever they want, the dry, sweet, or semi-sweet. So we're just gonna bottle two for the dry. This batch of five gallons should make about 24 to 25 bottles. So uh, let's get started in bottling. So you definitely will wanna get one of these. It's a bottling uh, tip that kind of lets you, it's got like a little floaty in there. When you press down, the wine will come out and when you release the wine will stop so you can go on to your next bottle but let's do our two dry bottles of wine so here we go you can see we'll push this tip down in and the wine will just flow just look at that color this is the most exciting part it's going to be a gorgeous color we'll let it sit probably for at least a couple months before we try it if we can hold our urge and you want to get the uh, wine almost right about where she has it or maybe a little bit more because when you put the cork down in that'll uh, keep some head space in there you want to keep a little bit 
She's a trained professional. She knows about where to stop you. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and bottle the two dry bottles. So we'll go ahead and put the cork. All right, so we're ready to sweeten the wine. What I got here is I got our sugar mixture, and this is four cups. Now, we're trying to get a semi-sweet batch and a sweet batch, so we're gonna put a little, probably half of this in uh, with experience. I know prior I had to put four cups in for the semi-sweet, and then I would add another cup for the sweet, so that's where you may have to mix up another batch. Um, so let's, I'm gonna start with half of this. My wife will stir it in as we go, and then we're gonna taste this and see if, if it's what we like. And that's, that's the fun part, of, again, of winemaking. It's what you like and what you want. So what I got here is a sterilized straw. I'm gonna fill two shot glasses up and we'll taste this. So there's yours. And again, this is the fun part, to taste your wine for the first time after like four months. It's still pretty dry, I can tell you. So we will add more sugar. Again, I'm pretty sure it's gonna take all this to where we both like it, but I'll put a little bit more in. Yeah, I still want more. It's still so, originally I said I was gonna to have to put four cups of this uh, sugar mixture and I'm pretty sure to get it to where we like, we're gonna need that. I think it's getting very close. I might want a little bit more. Okay. So I put four cups already. We didn't think it was sweet enough, so I made another batch of another cup and a half of sugar and a cup and a half of water. Got it going uh, just like I did before, getting it dissolved in. So we're gonna add a little bit more sugar, uh, probably maybe about a half a cup to a cup, and then we'll taste that again and see what we think. I think it was pretty close. She didn't. Now you gotta remember with the fruit wines, you're gonna start to taste the fruit when you add sugar. A dry wine, you know, a lot of people were commenting and were saying that they didn't taste the fruit. It's because you're not adding the sugar back in. That will bring out the taste of the fruit. That's getting pretty close. Yeah, that's that's definitely that's definitely sweet enough, um, you know, for a dinner or something. We'll add a little bit more, maybe another half a cup for a couple uh, sweet wines, but for the semi-sweet, I think this is good. We'll probably bottle maybe 18 to 20 bottles, which will leave us maybe about four or five for some uh, sweet. So we bottled 16 of the semi-sweet, but I like the sweet wine, so we're going to do five to six bottles of some sweet wine. So we're gonna add a little bit more sugar. So now you have to remember, a lot less wine, mm -hmm. you don't need a whole lot of sugar to move this just a little bit to a sweet wine. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. A little bit more than that. All right, we'll see what this. That's pretty, that's pretty sweet. sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right. it's, it's perfect. So you can see we put about another quarter cup in there and it made it perfectly the way we like it. Again, that's the best part of making wine. You make it the way you like it. You got 10 people, 10 friends that like dry, do 10 bottles of dry. That's why it's four to five cup range. I found that photo in the sofa And it's from way back in the one 
So I guess there's much I never told you Like who I am, who I love, where I've been and where I... All right, and this is a hot tip. Before you actually put your bottles in a wine rack, I like to put them in a tub like this just to make sure that none of them are leaking. I'll leave them here for uh, about two to three days. Make sure none of them are leaking. But it's better safe than sorry. Now, if you're using, again, a number seven cork, you're not going to be able to do this. So make sure you watch that corking video. So I hope you enjoyed video number four. That completes this series, but there is so much to come. I got small batch processing. I've got barbecue videos I want to do, some great dessert videos. Make sure, again, you hit the like and subscribe. You can see all this wine we made. This is one five-gallon batch, and I think we have 25 bottles. Mm -hmm. Strawberry pomegranate. We put a little bit in here to try it, and let's enjoy. Have a good evening. Thanks for subscribing. Check out my other channel. Talk to you soon. That's going to be a good batch, I can tell you right now. Memories of six kids running around those halls